In this lab in Baltimore, scientists are harnessing billions of tiny organisms in a war against deadly food bacteria. Basically, you're looking at saving lives potentially. Sure. We, we absolutely are. We're trying to make the food supplies safer. They're called phages. Actually, they're viruses, ancient organisms that come in millions of different varieties. Scientists here have found six that are particularly good at killing listeria, a bacteria found on prepared foods like lunch meat. They are very, very specific, so you have to find a phage that is effective against whatever your target bacteria. Last month, the FDA approved the use of this virus cocktail on food. Coming soon to your deli counter, cold cuts and hot dogs that have been sprayed with live virus. I wouldn't know anything's on here. Okay. But right now, biting into this, I'm eating some phages, right? That's correct. <laughs> uh, corned beef and rye. The Atman family has served up corned beef and hot dogs for three generations and can't stomach the idea of spraying live viruses on their family recipes. Think of putting on mustard and mayonnaise, but right. does it gross you out to put yeah, a virus? Yeah, sure it does. I would have a very hard time spraying that or meat. Mm. But most people don't know that they already consume millions of these viruses every day. They occur naturally in our water and on our food. What these scientists have done is harvest the most helpful ones. And it's not just listeria. Scientists here are developing phage sprays to kill other bacteria like salmonella and E. coli. They believe they'll soon have an E. coli spray which could prevent another deadly spinach crisis. We have a high degree of confidence that, that a E. coli phage product uh, could make uh, fruits and vegetables a lot safer for the American people. Who's next, please? Safer, but like many things that may be good for you, a little hard to swallow. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, Baltimore, Maryland.